What's up y'all, it's Sneaker Size King, back with another Apex Legends video, keeping it short, sweet, and concise. Man, oh man, has Valkyrie been a favorite of mine to main these past couple days, and here's the big catch. Yes, her Vito Jets are absolutely amazing, and let alone super convenient, but actually, I have been going wild with her tactical missile projectiles, aka Missile Swarm. It is that aggressive side of her recon kit that's been making a lot of her fights so much more easier to win. How? Well, that's exactly what we're going to talk about. If you guys do enjoy this video today, go ahead and drop a like, go for my beautiful like goal of 15 likes and if you are new around the channel consider subscribing to the channel after taking in all this great content you know maybe even popping by a stream our weekly apex legends giveaway is t minus two days away that is thursday i hope to see y'all there now let's get back to this video In playing these legends that come with a certain set of abilities, you have to be super mindful of those that can inflict some kind of damage or disorientation of movement to better your chances at securing kills, even when it fights with your squad. I'm talking about a stun, grenade damages, ability silences, and more. Practically any small window where you're able to deal damage plus slow your enemy is a window of opportunity. You just have to be there to seize it. So let's tap into this first tip. Upon using her tactical, Valk launches a total of 12 missiles. Now that first tap on your targets, that's gonna deal a damage of 25. And every missile after that deals a damage of three. What do we take from that? Your motivation factor is to seize the knock on that lovely initial 25 damage. That's really the biggest opportunity there for you. See, with every legend ability comes some kind of window of opportunity. Apex devs even filtered in the stun effect lasting long enough for Valkyrie to land, pull out her gun, and return some damage. Or if you want to go for the double stun, maybe you're landing and you're pulling out an arc star to chuck at him. I don't know. Get creative, damn it. The second tip we need to keep in mind is that Valkyrie needs aerial clearance to use her missile swarm. So while indoors, you may not find so much luck. So you have to take advantage of that tactical when you use it, as we know it is best used outdoors. Now let's move on to what's actually been working out the best for me when I use this missile swarm. Well, for me, I'd have to say timing when it comes to using her missile swarm. It's no secret that Valk is easy to shoot out the air and she's not able to even shoot and fly at the same time. So it's really important that you decipher when you want to take to the air or not. I tend to use her missile swarm under these circumstances. Let's start with the first one, to ambush a squad. There is enough time, like I said earlier, to stun, drop down with your veto jets and fire your weapon, getting that knock. Next, when my teammates are being aimed at, that means that my teammates are serving as a distraction for me. That is actually a great time for you to take to the air and to use your missile projectiles. You have to think of this as an opportunity because most times your enemies are able to see the red circular signal on the ground of missile projectiles coming in, giving them enough time to evade. When enemies are fleeing from me is another great circumstance which means they're running in a set trajectory that could be towards the storm so I'm just gonna have my missile swarms meet them there if not on top of them when an enemy is hiding as well as to take down a weakened enemy both of those circumstances go hand in hand because an enemy is hiding because they are purely weakened so launching your missile projectiles on top behind or in front is almost always gonna guarantee you that knock only if you've gotten your enemy that weak now to all of those positive scenarios I do want to reinforce some negative ones. I say be careful is putting yourself as Valkyrie on the line. Try not using your missile swarm as a means of last defense kind of a thing. Or to, in other words, flee from your opponent. Her tactical in my eyes, it has the biggest potential to start a fight. Or on the other end of that, it has the potential to end a fight. Laying down that last fatal damage to your fleeing enemy. She can actually secure a kill from afar, which actually makes her all the more a valuable legend. I was streaming the other day and one of my viewers did mention to me why they don't see Valkyrie on the ranked side of the spectrum more. And I'm also very curious as to that. I do see more potential for her in the future, as well as getting her and her team out of very hard and sticky situations maybe being able to rotate 
But on the other end of that, maybe I see a lot of players struggling with, with accurately using her missile projectiles. I mean, most times when I'm playing against a Valkyrie, I'm able to evade those missiles. That isn't to say her tactical is very difficult to use. Maybe it's just an instance of players taken to the air at the wrong time and missing those windows of opportunities. Guys, that's all I got on today's video. Tips for learning Valkyrie's missile swarm. Hope you guys are able to leave here with some great insight and some great tips. And if you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give me with a like. Check out the channel, swing through a stream. We would love to have you. And it's your boy, The Concise King, keeping it short, sweet, and concise as always. I'll see you guys in the next Apex Legends video, in the next Apex Legends live stream, and of course, always in the Apex Legends arena. Peace. are the Apex Champions. I can feel the world get farther Every year the stars get darker